Today's tip is to value the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is the longest nerve in your body. The word vagus means wandering in Latin. Now this is a very appropriate name as the vagus nerve wanders from the brain to many important organs throughout the body, including the heart, lungs, and digestive organs. Because of its influence on heart rate, breathing, and digestion, it forms a key part of the parasympathetic nervous system, otherwise known as rest and digest. And that's why it's the topic of today's episode. The vagus nerve plays a big role in our stress response, which has an impact on our mental and therefore overall health. The term vagal tone refers to the activity of the vagus nerve or how strong it is. Typically, a high vagal tone is associated with happiness, contentment, bodily homeostasis, and overall psychological balance. On the other hand, a low vagal tone is associated with stress, feelings of depression, and difficulty focusing. Having a high vagal tone allows you to more effectively respond to the emotional and physical symptoms of stress. The more you improve your vagal tone, the quicker you can relax after a stress response. So how do you improve your vagal tone? You stimulate the vagus nerve. Here are four ways. One of the many ways that you can stimulate healthy function of the vagus nerve is through deep, slow belly breathing. Now I spoke about this in a quick tip bonus episode, so follow the link in the show notes if you missed it. You can learn to use breathing exercises to shift your focus away from stress or pain. The moment we anticipate stress in any form, most of us tend to stop breathing and hold our breath. Breath holding activates the fight, flight, freeze response. It tends to increase the sensation of pain, stiffness, anxiety, or fear. To practice deep breathing, remember to breathe more slowly. Aim for six breaths per minute. Breathe more deeply from the belly. Think about expanding your abdomen and widening your rib cage as you inhale. Exhale longer than you inhale. It's the exhale that triggers the relaxation response. Tip number two is to use the vocal cords. Loud gargling with water, singing, humming, or chanting activates the vocal cords, which in turn stimulates the vagus nerve. Cold exposure also stimulates the vagus nerve. It sounds counterintuitive to me. However, cold exposure does stimulate the vagus nerve and decrease heart rate stimulating intestines and turns on the immune system. You can immerse your forehead, eyes, and at least two thirds of both cheeks into cold water. Or you can have a cold shower or just finish off your shower with 30 seconds of cold water. And finally, good old exercise stimulates the vagus nerve. Moderate exercise increases heart rate variability, which is the variation in the time interval between heartbeats. High heart rate variability is a marker of parasympathetic nervous system activity, AKA vagus nerve activity. Moderate physical activity equals improved heart rate variability, equals improved vagal tone, equals improved stress response. Now there's one caveat here, overtraining or doing too much cardiovascular exercise actually lowers heart rate variability and reduces vagal tone. Therefore, it's important to listen to your body and work out at a level of exertion that makes you feel good and scheduling enough rest and recovery days into your fitness routine. Stress is a part of life. We cannot avoid stress, avoid stress nor would we want to. As I've said before, stress and negative emotions are a part of life and, and the human experience. And without them, we wouldn't have the perspective of how great joy, happiness, and relaxation is. However, We don't always have to let stressful situations negatively affect our minds and bodies. We can stimulate our vagus nerve to send a message to our bodies that it's time to relax and de-stress, which leads to long-term improvements in mood, pain management, well-being, and resilience. Willpower not required. Thanks so much for listening. I'd love to hear from you. So send me your tips, questions, or feedback. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Fired Up Fitness Coaching 
or email me at willpowernotrequired at fire.fitness.ca. Thanks so much. I look forward to connecting with you.